I want to thank Taskade for sponsoring today's video. So what is Taskade? Well, in short, it is an all-in-one collaboration platform designed for remote teams. It allows you to plan out your projects, set deadlines, keep track of everything, and also you can communicate with other team members through audio and video chats. In addition, if you're just an individual wanting to plan out your day or simply keep up with focus, they have notes, checklists, outlines, and a lot of cool other productivity features. So let's get started with signing up for an account. So in order to get started, the first thing you're going to need to do is navigate over to Taskade and they can click on sign up just right there in the top right corner. And then you can actually go ahead and sign up with a Google account or just simply your own email. And then once you're in, we can hop over to Taskade's dashboard and get started. Let's create your first workspace. So here we are on Taskade's dashboard. So the very first thing we actually can do is create a new workspace. So let's actually go ahead and click on the new workspace button. And then here you just simply enter in your workspace name. And then you can customize the colors of your choice. So you can change it to yellow or even a red and then create the new workspace. Now it's going to ask you to invite people to the workspace. So if you have somebody to invite or a team to work together on the project that you can simply enter their information in there, or you can actually go ahead and invite them with a link as well. So it's pretty simple and easy to invite other people. And also we can actually customize this by clicking this little icon at the bottom and then just choosing whichever background design that you like. So I personally like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click with that. So now in order to get started, you simply just click on the new button in the top right. And now you are here on the actual editor. So you can go ahead and start adding in your task or your projects that you want to actually start managing and keeping track with. And if this is your first time, you can go ahead and get started with Taskade as well. They have this super simple getting started guide. So you can just get a feel of how to use Taskade. And then once you're feeling comfortable, you can go ahead and start creating your own projects. So here I'm just going to go ahead and create my own, just call this one project one. And then here you can actually add a due date. So depending on when the project is due. So here I'll just put this for 22 and then I can actually start adding in my task. So for this example, I just did something pretty simple. Just went ahead and typed in task one. And then here you can actually add a due date. So if this task is something that needs to be done within the week, you can just add it right before the actual project end dates. Also, you can assign particular people to a task as well. So as you can see, it's myself right now. And then you can add comments too. So if you have other people on your project, you can just add them, type their name in, and then simply write whatever comments that you'd want to add. So here I just left a little quick comments. And then if somebody were on this project together with you, they can click on the little comment icon and see the additional comments that people have left. Also, you can attach files as well. Then also you can click on the three dots and then you have a lot of different options here. So you can go ahead and choose through that. And then here you can actually customize it with different colors. So this way it just stands out, makes it easier to read. And then you can also set a priority. So instance, hashtag high here labels it as priority high. And then as you can see, there's additional things you can choose on this menu option. So now we can actually add another block here. And this allows us to add additional list so for instance if you want to add a checklist here and then pretty much i can go in here and edit this so let's just call this weekly checklist again you can name this to whatever fits you and then here i can just go ahead and add my task below and if you wanted to you can just simply click on add task to add an additional task and then also we can actually create little sub tasks so we can click on the little indent at the bottom or just simply press tab on your keyboard and that indents it. So I'll just label this as subtask number one. And now we can actually add additional blocks as well. So if you want to have a bullet list, also we have numbered, and then lastly we have this paragraph. And then on the right side, as you can see, we have this start call. So it's just exactly as it says. You can go ahead and actually call people on Taskade, and then you can have a video chat as well. So currently, since it's just myself, I don't have anyone to video chat with, but if you had a team, you can actually go ahead and communicate with them through there, just like a Zoom or Google Hangout type call. And it's pretty awesome to see. And then here, we can actually go ahead and start completing some tasks to see what happens. And as you can see on the right side, it actually showcases who completed this and then all the other details there. And then you can actually fold your task too. So if you have a lot of different things taking up some space, you can just go ahead and click the little arrow and that just shrinks them and saves up some space. 
and they can hide tasks and show them as well too so that makes it a lot cleaner and easier to manage and we also add some tags as well so just click on the tag option and then click on new tag and then simply just name this tag whatever you like so i'll just call this important and then i'll just color this red and then create the tag and then as you can see i can set it and now you can see that this project has a particular tag with importance on it and then also if you don't like this layout you can actually go over here and change that to a different option so we have the board option here and then as you can see it's a different design and layout there and then we can actually choose between the additional ones such as action and then also we have the mind map and then here you can see what it looks like and then last but not least we have the org chart so we can actually head over to our workspace so click the top left and then now you can see we have our projects currently on our home page and then here if you wanted to go ahead and create a new one we can go and see additional features that taskgate has to offer so let's go ahead and click on the weekly planner and this is a pre-built template by them already so if you want to go ahead and invite people to the top you can do that as well but as you can see this one's pretty self-explanatory and pretty much you can go ahead and add in your goals for this week and here for example i'll just add in a simple goal so let's say just say you want to run 10 miles for this week and then you want to go ahead and just jot out that so let's just say for instance run two miles on monday and then you'd say like two miles on tuesday etc and then obviously you can tailor this to your business needs and then let's actually go back on the workspace and let's head back over to the home page and then let me go ahead and show you some more additional features so let's go back and click on new and then here we can actually click on the meeting agenda and then that's another built template. Also, they have the project board and you've seen the different layouts earlier. And then last, we have the mind map option here as well. And then here again, you can go ahead and change out the layouts there. And then the last one we have is this more option. And these are templates that are pre-built already with Taskgate so that you can just go ahead and find something that you're trying to do. Check out the template, see if it fits what you're trying to do. And then you can go ahead and customize it edit it and it saves you a lot more time versus having to think of something from scratch. So like in instance, I'm just gonna go through this weekly team workflow. And as you can see, this is all written out already. So if this is something similar to what you're trying to accomplish, you can go ahead and actually utilize that template. And then you can go ahead and let's click on planning for instance. And let's just take a look at some other templates that they have. So here I just go ahead to the weekly goals one. And this is the same exact one that they currently already have built in. But for instance, if you wanted to add templates to your actual project, you can go ahead and click on the use template button and then it'll showcase all of your workspaces that are currently available. I'll just add that to the one since I only have one there. And then as you can see, that is the same template that we have again. But since this is the similar one, let's actually create a new one and let's go back to the more. And I wanna show you another template that is brand new, that is custom based off of their designs here. So let's just go and navigate and research through these and let's see, we have some growth templates here. And let's just go ahead and for instance, how to pitch a startup, let's check this out. So as you can see, they have a lot of predefined things such as links and additional resource that you can check out. So it's actually pretty cool and helpful. And again, you can use the template there, add to the workspace that you're trying to work on. Once it finishes loading, you can see that everything is there and you can go start editing it, changing it up, or just simply using it for a reference. So as you can see, that's pretty easy. So let's go back to the workspace. And now let's see where you can actually view all of your projects, templates, and everything on the dashboard. So here you can go ahead, check up all your tasks, roadmap, templates, and then you can see the completed stuff as well. And on the left-hand side, you can see additional details. So such as recent things that have been worked on, also activity as well. And then here's the calendar. So you can see that the first project we created, it shows the due date. So in case you forget, you can see that everything goes right directly to that project. So I can go ahead and edit it, make some changes. And then you can see the additional navigation menus on the left side as well. So in case you have another workspace you need, you can just simply click on new workspace and go ahead and just create a new workspace. So whether you're working with another team or just you want something to separate your first project from the second one you can see that it's completely brand new slate and then the first workspace has all the previous projects and then the new one has all the current ones now let's look at three features that most teams use so up until now you've seen a fairly simple use case of taskade with a very simple project however here is a more complex project with a lot more details filled in and john the ceo was kind enough to send me this example 
And as you can see here, this is just showcasing some Taskade updates and overall just things that they're working on or have completed already. And then also you can see here the actual chat log and a lot of people communicating through here. But as you can see, there is a lot of different use cases and then you can see better visuals utilizing this demo. And then as you can see, this list goes down on for months. And as you can see, that is a lot of different use cases. So right now I can just click on some of these. You can see these are just uh, little GIFs. And this is just a cool way to visualize what's going on. And then also you can see here, there's the different things that they are working on. And I actually have this copied over to my project. So let me actually go over to my account and just show you some additional features that you can actually utilize in Taskade. So here is a copy. So it doesn't look exactly the same with all the chat logs and everything. But what's cool is this is something that is super helpful for teams and other people using Taskade. And these are some of the more common things that people utilize Taskade for. And this makes it much easier to essentially navigate and just accomplish certain things with Taskade. So as you can see, eventually once you start to utilize Taskade, you'll have a lot of different options. And then also you can see there's a lot of different things where you can essentially just open and close. And eventually it's going to be crazy trying to go in here and you know, open, close everything individually, etc. And then also imagine if you were completing everything, it'd be quite difficult to sit here and then hide tasks or essentially complete them. So what's cool is this little three dots right here. You can just click on it and then for instance if you wanted to fold everything so you can see the ones that are currently open with the arrows i can just sit here and click on fold all it's going to ask me to fold them so i just click on fold all as you can see everything is nice and neat and they are all closed up together essentially i've folded down and then if i wanted to reverse that i can just simply click on unfold all and as you can see i've unfolded everything here too so another thing is you can see here these are actually completed so what I can do is actually go here and click on hide completed. And now boom, just like that, everything that was completed or checked has been hidden. And then let me just go ahead and uh, fold all just so you can see at the bottom where these are actually went. And as you can see here, we have the completed and then you can hide and show just like that. And then the last thing I want to show is essentially how you can actually check all your tasks too. So essentially here, let's just unfold all really quick. And let's just imagine you have this huge list of tasks that you want to essentially complete, or maybe you have already completed everything and you just didn't check them off, but you want to go in here and just complete them all without having to waste your time going in individually and checking all of them. So what you can also do is here, just click on the three dots there, and then just click on check all. And then that basically does checks all of them. And now you can see once it finishes that essentially everything is completed and it looks nice and clean. So again, just to summarize, you can actually go here and you can show or essentially hide completed tasks. And then also you can go ahead and uncheck or check all of them. And then last but not least, we can fold or unfold all of them there. So again, these are the three most common things that teams are utilizing in Taskade. And again, this is just showing you a bigger visual of Taskade and some use cases with a much larger project. So in case you're just trying to get a better idea of structuring something, then this hopefully will give you that vision there. So that completes the walkthrough tutorial for Taskade. So if you wanted to get access to it, I'll put the links in the description below so you can get started and planning out your projects and setting that up for you. And aside from that, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.